I'd like to uh, call to order the committee hall meeting of Monday, April 6, 2020. Call the roll, please. Mayor Berman? Here. Trustee Gaffino? Here. Trustee Lowry? Here. Trustee Curtis? Here. Trustee Carroll? Here. Trustee Martinez? Here. And Trustee Gately? Here. Very good. Audience comments? Trustee comments. First item of discussion on the title, Mr. Bosco, or is this John? Who's going to? Uh, John's going to lead tonight. Okay. Hi, Mayor. Thank you. This is John. Um, this discussion is going to be about the silo restoration and illumination budget and, uh, and its uh, update. So if you recall, the village has been working with R.C. Wagman using the design build process to re reduce the overall cost of this project. And I'm pleased to report that they were able to successfully do this um, by working with architects, um, the engineers, our staff, as well as um, the contractors. R.C. Wagman developed a project project budget for the silo in the amount of $539,619. Now this number, the project budget, includes the, the cost to build the project and the, con the construction management, as well as um, soft costs like equipment re rental. The actual cost of this project is, is, is not yet determined, but it could potentially be lower than this figure because it's, it's going to go through a competitive bidding process. So if we were to compare the project budget that R.C. Wegman came up with in the amount of $539,619 with the original low bid that we received the first time, that was $588,000. So the design build process alone produced a cost savings of about $48,000. And if you consider the fact that the original bid did not even include construction management, that figure is probably more like about $88,000. So within this project budget that, that R.C. Wangman developed, they, they also included the alternate lighting for spotlights at the top of the silo. So for those of you who are able to see the screen, um, the first picture on the slide is the picture of the silo in its existing form. The middle picture is kind of what the, the illumination is going to look like when colors splashed on the side of the silo. And in the third picture, you see a, a, uh, an illuminated silo with um, several spotlights shining into the sky. So the cost of that, those up lights or the spotlights at the top is $11,000 or $11,456. And this, again, is an alternate. So if the village board chose to, it could further reduce the project cost by that, by that amount by eliminating that up lighting. So if the board chose to move ahead with this project, the next step would be to authorize R.C. Wegman to begin the design completion phase. And this phase includes document prep preparation as well as conducting a bid process. And in this bid process, that's where the actual costs are determined. So contractors will submit their bids based on different traits. So electrical contractors will bid on the electrical part of the contract. Painters will bid on the restoration and demo companies will bid on the internal demolition. Um, if, if the board chose to go ahead with this phase, it would cost $2,592 to authorize that next phase. And at the end of that phase, the village would then receive um, bids and the actual costs for the project. Um, staff would then bring these bids as well as a contract with R.C. Wegman back to the board for consideration. And essentially, this, uh, this discussion is just trying to get an idea of what, what the direction from the board would be in terms of is the price reasonable and is this something that the board would like to take the next step on? Mark, Mark Afino, yes. Uh, that's excellent. I'd move ahead. Mark, Mike, Laura. This, is, this is Laura Curtis. I, I think with the uncertain economic times, not knowing what's going to be happening with the economy, in good conscience, I can't uh, agree with spending a half a million dollars on something that, you know, it, it, it's not going to be an immediate benefit to the village. So I, I think we need to put this on the shelf for a little bit until we know what's going on with our current situation and how the economy is going to rebound. 
Uh, Mark Gately's a yes. Martinez says I think yes. The, the mayor, I think the important thing is that, uh, that the funds that we have already set aside, that are funds that come, don't come out of our normal budget. Uh, as a community, we are very, we have a good, should I say, a good, a good uh, amount of money in our excess fund that we can write out uh, just about anything. I think that uh, a finance director is uh, looking at ways that uh, we can cut back if necessary, or at least to review uh, what our finances are going to be. I think this is something the village really needs. I really do. I think this is something that, you know, we talk about these are the times that people are really pulling together, which is really important. And we see it every day. And I think this is the kind of thing that the village has that we can show that, hey, we've got something that no one else has. And we can show this to the to our community and to the uh, to the everyone is that this is North Aurora and we do stick together and we do take uh, uh, I just take risks I guess take risks but we also we put a lot of thought and effort into this we put a lot of thought and effort into developing the logos that we have developing the feeling of North Aurora what it means to all of us and I think to uh, to put this on hold at this point in time would really would really be a disservice to our community. This is Mark Carroll. Opinion. This Mark Carroll. I, I have a question for Stat. Is this um, this is just a phase? Uh, we, this is in phases, correct? This is just phase one. Uh, so correct. So this phase that uh, is being discussed tonight, uh, this is Steve Bosco. Um, this phase is just the lighting and restoration. Uh, this is just the initial phase that the board chose to do. And I can understand the concern with the economics right now. I think it's important to note that this, once again, this project is fully funded out of our TIP district and not out of our general fund operating budget. Uh, this is money that's been put aside for probably at this point 15 to 20 years that that TIF has been generating increment for projects that can only be for beautification or infrastructure projects within that area. Um, so these funds would 100% solely be coming out of the TIF as of right now. Yeah, so uh, thanks, Steve. Uh, this is Mark again. I I'm, I'm all for it. Um, uh, I do like the third picture, the picture with the up lighting. Uh, that's what I would prefer. Definitely. Yes, I think it, obviously we're going to get all the bids and we can decide. But uh, I think that that's going to be that's going to be something that really sets it apart from anything else that we've seen. I think the other thing to note is, as John alluded to earlier, right now it's just a trying to get focus on whether or not the board is still interested in getting uh, official pricing. When R.C. Wegman put this budget together, it, the reason that this budget is a lot tighter than what we had the last time before we went out to bid was it's more than just an estimate. They've actually gotten actual quotes from companies for each aspect of the project on what they essentially would pay to do their portion of the work. So they've created a very accurate budget. All this would do is if the board approves us to move forward uh, and look into this, is simply uh, the $2,500 of just having them prepare the bid documents, uh, do all the bids and prepare a construction management contract to bring back to the board to review at a later time. It does not commit us to doing this project in any sense. It's just the $2,500 to see what the actual pricing will be. Any other discussion? I just want to piggyback Mark Capino here. What uh, Mayor Berman said, I think it's, a unique situation we have here and uh yeah times are a little more difficult and uh, uh crazy right now but i think this is something we've been talking about for 18 months or so and uh i just feel that you know it's worth the next step moving forward and 
and see, I also agree with Mark Carroll. I mean, I think two and three are, are good. I, I think we need to have the up lighting. I think we need to have up on top as well as the color lighting. I mean, it just makes it more unique and there isn't one in the area. And, you know, we always talk about making North Aurora a destination down by the river. And like, we, you know, I, we need to make that decision. And I, I think it's great. I think great job, uh, John and staff and all. And, you know, the price has been coming down and, you know, we're pretty frugal in our community here and, you know, we'll watch it, but I think it's va uh, value added. You know, I think it's down the road. I think it'll be a nice uh, feature down there. So, And just for clarification, that last picture, um, to go through these pictures again quickly, the first one is as is. That second picture is actually when they did the test lighting for it about a year or so ago. Um, that was when they, that's the actual silo with real lights that they put up, not just a rendering, uh, just to test the saturation of the silo. That last picture is the actual scope of what the next step would be. It's the, it's the concept that was picked by the village board uh, a while back. The only reason uh, we did the lights at the top as an alternate, that was originally picked by the village board to move forward with. We were looking at it as another cost savings idea to eliminate those lights if the board chose to do so. Uh, it came back a lot cheaper. So the total price in front of you tonight actually includes everything, including the up lights, the window lights, and the lighting on the side of the silo. Yeah, I'm all for that. Mike Lowry says, I, I, let's go ahead with it and see where it leads. We take cautious steps. Very good. I think you have your uh, enough information, Steve. Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, very good conversation. Uh, I have nothing else for this evening. Uh, I can't wait <laughs> for our next board meeting. Obviously, uh, just stay safe. Back to so good judgment. And for those that have to work, that are going to work, uh, just be careful. That's all I can say. Any other comments from the board? No. Uh, no, sir. Mike Lowry would like to make a comment. Um, uh, next time we have a meeting, if we do this this virtual meeting, I, I, uh, it, you know, I think it's much better communication if we all had a, a film uh, where we can see who's talking and, and what's said. Uh, I got a lot more out of Mark Carroll and Laura and Steve this time than I did the rest of them. So uh, that's my recommendation, well, I if it's possible. Hey, there's somebody. Hey, there. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it back around. Well, actually, I have to take my pajamas off. <laughs> All right. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Mark Carroll. All those in favor say aye. 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 Both. We're adjourned. God bless.